welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Arden, and today I am going to be sharing a little bit of everything. <laughs> um, I have a lot of updates. I've got some writing updates. I've got some Patreon updates, uh, life updates. Yeah, a little bit of it all going on right now. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about all of that. And yeah, I'm pretty pumped. So let's jump into it. So to start with, um, I'm going to hit you with a promotion, I guess, right up from the, the top. Um, over on my Patreon, I am recording myself reading my books. Um, I don't have funds to have audiobooks made of any of my novels. That's a future dream, uh, is to actually have them be, um, audiobooks. But um, right now, that's not a financial thing I can take on. So um, instead, I am reading each of my books and posting chapters on the Patreon. And I'm also releasing on, or we'll say like kind of edited, semi-edited versions of stories. Um, so you get a couple chapters a month. But right now I'm reading the prequel, um, Before We Fall, <clears throat> and have shared a couple chapters of it so far, and we'll be posting more. But if you're looking to consume, I guess, my books in a different way through the Patreon as an audio file is an option for you. Um, and I have to say, I've not felt so cringy, um, in a while. It's, it's a real experience <laughs> reading your own work out loud and recording yourself and kind of trying to do voices <laughs> and it's an experience. So I hope you can enjoy it, um, and come along with me. I definitely know now that I will never have, a, a career as a voice actor or audiobook um, narrator. So um, that's good to know. <laughs> but yeah, you can hop on over to the Patreon. I will put the link in my uh, episode description, but it is Arden Coots, Another Chapter. And yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff over there. Um, and I'm building it slowly. So uh, come join the community. It's very affordable. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is that I have gotten my, um, author copy of We All Fall. So it is one step closer to being published and I am thrilled with how the cover came out. It is awesome. Came out so well. And I just can't wait for people to read this book. It is probably one of my favorites that I've, I've written. I say that every book, but I, I really do feel like this one came out really well um, and is probably some of my stronger writing than you, you've seen in other books. So um, we're close and I've ordered copies and we'll be sending out PR boxes and uh, ARCs and pre-orders soon. Hopefully in the first to so the second week of October, I'm going to get those out. But I'm, I'm just so excited because I feel like I've really put a lot of effort into this one. I put a lot of effort into all of them, but this one I've really tried to do more of it on my own rather than paying other people to do it. So especially with like book tours and promotion of the book. I'm really trying to figure that out for myself. And it's one of the reasons why I'm doing PR boxes this time around. And I'm, I've reached out to influencers and, and bookstagrammers that I enjoy that I think my um, audience will enjoy and am uh, sending them some PR packages and will hopefully 
uh, hear from them and hope they enjoy my book as well. So that's um, pretty exciting. But to I don't know. There's something about like popping that box open and seeing your book in its like final form that is just such a good feeling it, it like all that work months if not years of work are you know coming coming to um realization and and, and the final version is there and, and to see all that in the final product is is really wonderful so I'm, I'm really excited about that and i I feel like I have a really solid group of ARC readers this go around. Again, I've put together my own ARC team of about 40 people, which in the past I've used um, agencies that will find you ARC readers and um, do book tours for you and, and things like that. And, and they've been great. Like the people I've worked with have been wonderful. Um, and the results have been fine, but again, this time around, I really wanted to try to do it myself and pick my own people and have my own process. And I, I think it's going to make a difference. I feel like it has already with the people that I've connected with. Um, Cause one of the things when you go through a company like that, you don't actually get to like talk to any of the people on the art team. You don't get to really connect with them. Whereas building that team myself, I've got to connect with the people on it. I have, um, you know, we email back and forth where they're getting to know me. I'm getting to know them. It's a lot more, uh, it's a lot more uh, personalized experience, I guess, than or intimate experience than uh, the way I've done it previously. So I'm really excited about that. Um, in other book news, I'm part of a holiday collective where there's, I don't know, maybe like 15 authors and we are all writing holiday novellas and um, they're queer holiday novellas and we're releasing them as a, not an anthology, like we're all releasing our own books separately, but it's a coordinated effort and each book will like point to the other books in the series. So you can kind of like support all the authors that are um, in the holiday collective and we're releasing them from November through December. So um, it's pretty exciting. Um, I'm really stoked about my novella. I've done kind of a final run through of it on edits and I'm getting ready to send it out to ARC readers and get some feedback on it and, and um, yeah, it's just a sweet, cute little holiday novella with the crew from the fall trilogy. And it's kind of the bow on top of, of the trilogy. So you finish book three, we all fall and you just roll right into the novella and it kind of wraps everything up really nicely. And like I said, kind of, puts the bow or the cherry on top. And, and um, I think people who are fans of the fall trilogy will really like the novella. Um, and hopefully people who have not read the fall trilogy yet will find the novella and it will um, intrigue them enough to go back and read the series. So I'm really excited for it to come out, which it comes out December 6th. And We All Fall comes out November 12th. Both are available for pre-order on Amazon and on my website. So um, I'll put links to those down in the episode description as well. Um, but after the novella comes out, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do writing wise. Um, I've had the trilogy kind of driving me for the last, two to three years and once I'm finished with it I'm not quite sure what I'm going to work on. Um, I have a couple ideas for shoot off books from the fall trilogy featuring characters that were introduced to in that trilogy. Um, I have an idea for a romanticy. 
Um, I have plenty of ideas, but I just don't know if I'm feeling inspired to work on any of them. And maybe that will change. Maybe something will pique my interest and I'll have to write it. But I'm not really feeling that overwhelming sense of I have to get this story out. I have to write this right now. Um, I don't have that feeling about anything currently, except for Echoes of Us, which I'm releasing over on the Patreon. I am very excited to share that and work on that and see what folks in the, the Patreon think about it. Um, I still don't know if I'll publish that one widely. I might just live on the Patreon and, and be kind of a project that I keep to myself. Um, or I might put it out there. I don't know yet. Um, I'll see how it goes. But yeah, I just really don't know what my next move is writing wise. Um, which is kind of a little, I don't want to say like worrisome, but I I don't want to lose momentum. Like I feel like I'm just now finally getting a good rhythm going and some momentum with my books and to just suddenly stop and lose all that, I think would it would be really hard for me to start again. So um, I don't know. I'll see how the rest of the year plays out. <laughs> Because I've got a lot going on, um, which brings me to the next thing I wanted to share, which is I'm moving again. <laughs> I moved back in May. I moved from Wilson, North Carolina to Durham, North Carolina, and I moved into an apartment. Like I have a wonderful roommate that I, I really enjoy living with. Um, but I have had this idea of moving to Maine for probably the last four years or so. Um, I've never been to Maine. It's kind of just this mystical or mythical land up north that's cold. Um, but I have just a feeling that I'm going to love it. And I recently got hired for a new job that allows me to essentially work from wherever I want. Not essentially. I mean, it, it is a 100% remote job, so I can live wherever I want. And I have decided to move to Maine. Um, I got an opportunity to do house sit and pet sit for a couple for six months. So I am going to move into their home for six months and house sit for them and work and save money, pay off some debt, um, save as much as I can while still paying off things that I need to pay off. And then hopefully in that five to six month period, I'll be able to set myself up nicely to either to, to move again to somewhere in Maine and have my own place. Um, it's a big move. I'm trying to sell everything or donate everything that I have so that I can take what will fit in my car. And I have a Kia Soul. <laughs> so that gives you a little bit of an idea of uh, the type of space I'm working with. Um, now I have a lot of books. Uh, I have both a lot of books of my own, which you can see on my bookshelf back here, um, which I've managed to pare down quite a bit. Uh, from a recent book sale, which was amazing. Um, I have a lot of, of books that I want to read that I own. Um, so that's going to take up a, a bit of space. And I have a lot of just like journals. I keep journals and I, I don't like to get rid of them once I'm finished with them. I, I like to keep them. I like the, the memories um, that are in, in them. Uh, so I like to go back every now and then and read old journals or, you know, if I forget about something, I can go back and, and look and remind myself of how I felt in that moment or, you know, what happened. Um, so I don't know. I got to figure it out. And I've got 
like a month and a half to do it. <laughs> I'm moving in November. So yeah, it's coming up quickly and I've got to kind of figure it out. Um, but I'm, I'm very excited. I'm nervous. It's the first time in a long time that I'm moving somewhere where I don't know anyone. So I'll be completely alone, kind of isolated in the winter time in Maine. So hopefully I don't go like full Jack in the Shining and, and lose my mind uh, with a little like cabin fever. But um, I don't know, I'm really looking forward to it. And I think it'll really allow me to tap into my creativity, which will be good. Um, and that kind of, I do want to try to bring you guys along with my move. I'm really terrible about like recording things. Um, I'm still not used to like busting out a camera or my phone while doing stuff. It just doesn't feel natural, I guess, but I'm going to try to do more of that. So I'll try to record more as I'm packing and getting ready to move. And, and my friend Katie and I are having a purge party. So she's going to come over and help me like get rid of stuff and sort through what, you know, we're going to Marie Kondo my life. Like what, feels good and what doesn't uh, bring me joy and, and kind of use that to get rid of stuff. Um, but the next thing I wanted to share, which kind of goes with the creativity, is that I'm working on an, a project that is about living more creatively and with more intention. So living creatively and intentionally. And I have my own little uh, journal for it. Uh, make your make your own magic. Um, and this is going to be my journal for this project. I'm calling it Project 38. And this is very, very heavily inspired by Sarah Cannon, who is doing something, I think, pretty similar to this. Um, I don't know how similar they'll be um, task-wise and stuff like that, but um, essentially, the goal is to, for me, it's building a fulfilling, creative, and meaningful life. And I'm going to kick this off in October because that's when I turn 38. So it's going to be a year-long project from October 16th of 2024 to October 16th of 2025 when I turn 39. So um, I want to focus on creativity, which means focusing on my writing, my photography. Um, I want to work on my physical health, my mental health, and loving my my lifestyle, I guess. Like, I really want to find that, like, cozy vibe in my lifestyle um, and really kind of dig into that. Um, and the reason I want to do this is because I want to form new and better habits I want to feel better about myself um, and about what I do. I don't want to constantly be feeling guilt and shame around things that I do. So I'm hoping this will help alleviate those those feelings. Um, I want to be proud of myself and I want to be content with my life. I want to stop feeling like I'm always searching for something. I think having some of that feeling is fine because it's what drives you but I live in that space of constantly looking for the next thing thinking 20 30 years down the road instead of being present and living in the moment so I'm really looking to to change that and I'm hoping that this will help me do that and one way that I'm looking to do that is by setting clear goals, um, doing daily habits like journaling, meditation, evening reflection. Um, and I'm reading out of my, my book. Um, but uh, I want to do monthly creative challenge, um, cultivate creative and inspiring relationships. So finding other creatives and other folks that are kind of like in the same boat or doing the same things as me, joining writing groups after I move, all of that. Um, develop a creative space. So I'm really hoping to eventually 
maybe move into my own apartment where I can have a office again, um, like an office craft room. I miss having a space that's just devoted to creativity um, and having that separation of like work, life and creative space. So I'm hoping to do that again. Um, I wanna do artist dates, um, which is from the artist's way. Uh, so I wanna take myself on solo adventures, like go to museums, go to art galleries, go hiking, just, you know, anything that's gonna spark creativity. Um, and I wanna do more of that. And I think Maine will be a space that really promotes that in me. Um, I want to develop a gratitude practice. Absolutely suck at gratitude. <laughs> um, it's really hard for me to sit down and be like, oh, I'm grateful for. Um, I have a tendency to be in a negative headspace and mind space. So a gratitude practice is very difficult for me. So I'm, I'm really looking to um, figure out or find a gratitude practice that works well for me. Uh, if you have recommendations on that, definitely drop them in the comments. Um, and I want to set like weekly intentions. So what do I want to achieve each week and what are the steps to achieving it, which I kind of already do. But again, I want to be like more intentional and thoughtful about what I'm setting myself up for. So yeah, lots of stuff going on. <laughs> lots of exciting things in the next couple of months. Um, and I'm hoping to bring y'all along with me and we will, yeah, see how it goes. <laughs> um, again, I would encourage you to check out the Patreon. There's awesome content there and to uh, consider subscribing to my YouTube and my Patreon, um, all that good stuff. Be sure to hit the notification bell because I don't have a schedule when it comes to putting out videos. I just send them out uh, when I make them, which is usually maybe once or twice a month randomly. So uh, when you hit that notification bell, it will let you know when I post videos. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. It's uh, kind of a bit of a longer one than you're used to, I think. Um, but we caught up, covered a lot of ground, so. Um, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you'll come along with me as I get ready to move to Maine, a bucket list, uh, item for me, which I will be checking off, which is super fucking cool. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one. Bye.